everybody. It's time once again for the Backyard Barbecue. Gary Feblowitz and his wife Dominique are in from Minnetonka and we are going to make something really special. Jamaican jerk chicken. Authentic Jamaican jerk chicken. Authentic. And you're pretty hardcore because you've traveled the world as a photographer and you've settled on Jamaican jerk chicken so you know a thing or two about it. Yeah, and as you've heard the term uh, spice of life and I think that's what uh, makes jerk chicken. It's about pimento spice. Jamaican allspice. Allspice. And uh, it is the greatest thing in the world. As far as I'm concerned. Why do they call it allspice? Uh, it, they call it allspice because it tastes like many different spices. It tastes like nutmeg, it tastes like uh, cinnamon, it tastes like uh, cloves. A bunch of different spices put together. All in one. Allspice, Jamaican jerk chicken, Gary Feblowitz, and his incredible recipe with some fantastic ideas for grilling in a moment. We're making Jamaican jerk chicken, and we were telling folks online during the break a little bit about the uh, rub and the marinade itself. So let's go back over that, the ingredients that go into this rub and how long you need to marinate it. Uh, the ingredients uh, vary for different recipes. There's a dry rub and a wet rub. The essential ingredients are, uh, is this is Jamaican allspice, uh, also called pimento, pimento mm -hmm. berries. It's like, it's like a pepper berry. Uh, you grind this down into a powder, and people can get this powder at a grocery store, uh, allspice powder. Okay, and you start compiling all these ingredients, you cook it down, and then it eventually, we call it a wet rub, but it's kind of a paste. Yes, it's not pretty, but it tastes great. And it's <laughs> going to be pretty darn spicy. Yes, it's it's uh, it's hot. Okay. I use uh, three to five habanero peppers. I caution people to you know take it easy on their first try around, and see see uh, see if they like it or not. But that is you know to make true authentic jerk chicken, you need to sweat while you're eating. It's <laughs> the only way to. Know. So then we coat the chicken. We let it sit for 24 to 48 hours in the fridge. The longer the better. The meat will absorb all the juices, all the spices. Okay. And then once it's set at that point, it's where we really get creative on the grill. And I thought uh, the ingredients that you have just to create this chicken are wonderful in the rough, but. Really Really. Teach me about the grilling method. Well, the grilling method is, uh, it goes back to the Arawak and Carib Indians where they would used to uh, wrap pimental leaves around their meat and then bury them in the ground to slow cook. Mm -hmm. And uh, this duplicates that process. It's kind of like a three-step process. There's uh, pimento wood chips um, and pimento berries that we wrap in a, a tin foil. And you can see them now, they're smoking. Oh, yeah, and they're smoking up the really well. Smoke chips, and people are familiar with smoke chips. The rest of this is where we differ. Uh, the pimento leaves, these are dried leaves, uh, mm -hmm. and you can find them on the internet if you look up uh, pimento wood. Uh, you soak these leaves and make a bed, and they steam on the grill, and then you use the sticks as a grate on top of the leaves, and it's kind of like plank grilling. The only difference is you can reuse these sticks. So we're going to cook offset, offset is what we're going to do. Offset okay. means away from the fire. You want it slow cooking. You don't want the heat to touch the meat directly. Okay, let's go ahead and get it All set right. up. You want to grab some leaves here. You and you've soaked some sticks already. And so the first thing I do is I lay down these. Lay them out, make a nice little bed. Okay. Very good. And that's the steam. You can smell that aroma as oh, the steam comes yeah, up. It smells wonderful. It's very aromatic. Very good. And then the sticks go on as a cooking grill. Pre-soak, you said about an Pre -soaked hour? Pre-soaked an hour, at least an hour. I mean, these, you, these are reusable okay. as long as you don't let them burn. Okay, and then what do we do? And then the chicken goes right on top of the sticks. And I guess I can just pick these up loosely. I have washed my hands, folks. I know we, we get concerned it on about like our health grill. and hygiene. And then the best part is we let that smoke Two and a half, three hours. Two and a half, three hours. At 250 okay. to 275 degrees. And when the juices run clear, then they're done. We've got a winner. Then you have jerk chicken. And it's going to look just like this. Yummy. And we are back. This is it. This yeah. is your moment, the Gary. Moment. Okay. Okay, just a little, little Well, slice it's cooked for a couple here. hours. Yeah. And it's very juicy. Ooh, and that's that, that slow that. offset oh, style. Yeah. It's definitely uh, a finger food. It is a finger food, okay. and it's smoked. Look at how and moist it's this still thing. moist, oh, oh even though gosh. it's cooked for so long. See, that's the thing. These chicken breasts—they dry out so always. Much yeah, on the grill. but and, not. And look at this. Oh, look what at you that. Can. You know, one secret is that if you cook things on the bone, you'll keep them more moist than just that is so that's the secret. Cook, them, yeah. cook well, them as whole as possible. And then yeah. you have to bring Gary over to do all the work for well, you. Then you got to go. I'm all about that. That's what I say. How about this weekend? Well, we loved your appearance here. Come back for a bevy segment. Oh, sure, absolutely. Why don't you give that one to die? Okay. And I'll just grab a piece and so. And we're going to thank we everybody mm. for watching all week long. Come back Ooh. on Monday. We have a that lot of good stuff for you. An inspirational <laughs> oh. grandma who's coaching a baseball oh team. Oh, my gosh. And a weekend so flashback. Good. Have a terrific, fun season. This is weekend. like the Food Network. We'll see you
without the pimenta wood inside the grill you don't taste as good as it should be.